In this video, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to share with you the world's simplest method for mastering the English language. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. I am your beloved host, Julian Northbrook, leader of the League of Extraordinary English Speakers, best-selling author of Master English Fast, and self-proclaimed language punk. When I first came to Japan, I struggled with the language. Things were easy until I hit the intermediate stage, and until then, I'd improved fast, and it felt great. Then, everything ground to a halt. Suddenly, things weren't working anymore, I wasn't improving, and it got extremely frustrating. You can hear about that story in detail by checking out my short film, my personal story, Forgetting That English Isn't Your First Language, which will be linked. I think it's up on this side. But I struggled, is the point. And a big part of the, the, the problem that I had was that I was very inconsistent what I was doing. I was trying to do everything, and I was, but I was never doing anything well. I was constantly skipping from method to method to method to different way of doing things. I'd watch random shit on YouTube and expect to get better, but I actually wasn't really doing anything particularly effective. For me, the solution came from doing a master's in applied linguistics, and then later moving on to a PhD in psycholinguistics. From that experience, I kind of understood what I was doing wrong, and I changed my approach to improving my own Japanese skills, and from there, things changed rapidly. The key point to all of this is what I call the world's simplest method for mastering English. Simply put, in order to master a language, there are two plus one steps that have to be repeated again and again and again and again. I say two plus one because the first step actually isn't necessary in all situations. That is what I call step zero, which is to simply notice the things that you don't know. If you don't know that you don't know something, then you will never be able to learn it. If you don't know that you make a mistake in English, a certain mistake, you will never be able to improve it. If you don't know that something exists, you will never be able to talk about it. Noticing the things that you don't know is huge. If you're not sure how to go about noticing all the things that you don't know about the English language, as well as all the mistakes that you make, check out my book, Master English Fast, where I give you a whole load of different exercises and different things that you can do for noticing things about yourself, the way you produce language, and about uh, language in general. The first essential step, then, of the uh, two-step method is to learn the language that you need. This is something a lot of people get horribly, horribly, horribly wrong. Advertising has a lot to do with this. We tend to hear from English conversation schools and the like, you know, you learned English at school, all you've got to do now is speak, 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 practice, practice, practice. And it's actually total bullshit because the language that you learned in school almost definitely isn't actually the language that you need right now, right here. I actually did a research project at a secondary school in Japan, and we found that those students were actually pretty fluent in the language that they'd learned. Uh, however, the language that they'd learned had no real world, you know, utility. It just wasn't practical for the real world. Uh, so practicing that wouldn't help them at all, because they were already pretty good at it. It was just useless language that they weren't likely to use. You need to be constantly, constantly learning new language, learning more and more and more, stuffing more phrases, expressions, chunks, bits of language into your head. You need to be constantly putting in more knowledge, more information, more content, more things to talk about, more culture. You need to be constantly, constantly, constantly inputting this stuff. Do not skip the input stage, the learning stage, actually studying the language. Yes, that word, 
study, actually sitting down and putting some hard, intensive, focused, concentrated time into studying the English language. The second step then, which is also just as essential as the first, is to then automate that language via practice. And that is basically it. Mastering a language really is that simple. Learn the language you need, automate it via practice and actually using the language. However, these two stages are both essential. You can't skip to the second step. You can't skip to just practicing and expect to get good at the language because you can't practice what ain't in here. That in a nutshell is what I call my two-step method for um, mastering the English language. Uh, hence the name of one of my courses, Two Step Speaking, which at the moment is, uh, well, closed to new members. I do, however, recommend that you uh, grab a copy of my book if you don't have it, Master English Fast. In this book, we take you, we, we, I, take you through the English mastery process, step by simple step. I show you everything that you need to know in order to master the English language as an intermediate to advanced English learner. If you haven't got a copy yet, uh, you should do. Go get your hands on one. We are actually uh, getting low on print copies, and I'm not saying this to pressure you into buying one, by the way, um, but it is true. We're act we've are we sold two thirds of the copies of the book that we printed back in the summer now, and uh, I don't know when going to get uh, this printed again like this because uh, we we got it printed in a very nice kind of way. It's printed on very high quality paper. Um, it's you know it's it's beautiful to the touch, <laughs> which sounds stupid, but we've had loads of people email and say like I'm so impressed at how good the book feels. It's so nice to hold to touch uh, because it's really high quality production. Uh, it was however extremely expensive. Uh, and we can probably get the book sent out uh, much cheaper and with much less hassle, uh, but at the cost of production quality from somebody else. So if you want one of this first edition, uh, high quality, beautiful copies of Master English Fast, you're gonna wanna get a move on because um, they're getting low. Again, I'm not trying to pressure you into buying it. You either buy it or you don't. Frankly, I don't give a shit. Uh, but if you don't have one, you should get one. Master English Fast. Com. That's it for me today, but before I go, it's time to hand things over to you. Head down to the comments and tell us, are you an intermediate to advanced or above English learner struggling to improve your English? If you're finding it hard, you're not alone. Most of us either have been or still very much are in that situation. So get into the comments, share your experience, because I really want to know. Again, as I always say in my videos, I don't often reply comments, and that's just because I just don't have the time. Uh, but I do read most of the comments, and the good ones I tend to use as the base for future videos. So if you do have questions, uh, about any of this, what we've talked about, leave it in the comments as well. But do tell us about your experience struggling with good old English language. Goodbye.